Elecciones en Argentina. Vamos a Argentina. Domingo son las elecciones. Año electoral. Los candidatos presidenciales Javier Milei, Dario Massa, Tricia Bullrich. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buenos Aires vlog. My name is Chanel if you're new here. Today is a very important day in Argentina because today is a date of the presidential elections and if you're watching this video the day it is uploaded, I'm filming this this morning. So we are very live, very up to date today. Michael and I are going to head out to Plaza de Mayo, La Casa Rosada, and Obelisco to kind of see like what's up in Buenos Aires today. So let's get to it. just found out that the soup day during the presidential elections are free, which I think is really freaking cool. Public transportation definitely should be accessible on the presidential elections. I think that means too that the buses would also be free, which is so admirable, honestly. So we're at Plaza de Mayo right now and it is very peaceful, like nothing's going on. But the soup days were of course very crowded for a Sunday. And when we were leaving, we just saw like so many cars moving, buses moving, like this for a Sunday is the busiest Sunday we've ever experienced ever, which it makes sense because it's a presidential election, but it's just so interesting to see how a country moves on the date of the presidential elections. So the reason that we decided to come to Plaza de Mayo is that during elections in the US, you know, the White House is always like crazy and there's a bunch of stuff going on. There is nothing going on here in Plaza de Mayo, which is really nice. People must be out voting. I think voting goes on until six o'clock and then about seven o'clock-ish, people will start counting the votes and people will start knowing like who voted for who and things like that. But because it is so quiet here, people are here just taking pictures and like being tourists. I think probably most of the Argentinians are like out voting. We are gonna head over to Obelisco. It is very windy, so I'm hoping you'll be able to hear me and I'll keep you updated. Everything around us is closed right now, except for Mostaza. <laughs> I feel like that was supposed to be more 
more anticlimactic than what it was. I of course cannot vote in Argentina because I'm only here on a temporary stay, but what really surprises me is the fact that people can start voting from the ages of 16. So if you are aged 16 or 17, it's optional for you to vote. However though, if you're 18 and older, it's actually mandatory, like you have to vote here. It's not like in the US where it's just your right, like you have to vote here if you're 18 and older. But from what I've heard and from what people have told me, it's kind of like you have to vote because if you don't vote, you can get fined, but the fine is like 50 pesos, 100-ish pesos, which in US dollars, it's like 10 cents. So it's like, yes, you have to vote, but some people may not take that as seriously as others so that's one thing that i learned that's really interesting to me another thing that's really surprising to me too and actually kind of interesting is the fact that their argentina elections for the presidential elections are on a sunday in the u.s i believe it's on like a tuesday or something during the week but i feel like it's actually a lot better to have it during the weekend because a lot of more people can actually vote and you don't need to like request time off of work or do it during the week where everyone's so busy i think it's actually a really smart idea to have your elections on a weekend so more people can actually vote like why don't we do that in the u.s another thing that's really interesting to me too is the fact that you can't buy or sell alcohol the day of the presidential elections and i think it started at about 8 p.m last night where you couldn't buy or sell alcohol which is really interesting from my perspective i mean it doesn't affect me because i don't drink michael doesn't drink either but just like hearing that like that's so different like so different so interesting so unique and also during the presidential elections like after you vote you can't tell people who you voted for so let's say for example you go you vote and then you leave and then you say hey i voted for x person like you can't do that it's illegal and if you do do that and someone catches you doing that like they can take your vote out so your vote doesn't count which is very interesting to me as well and i've learned so much about the presidential elections and just like how Argentina values it and just the different norms and the customs around it too which I thought was really really interesting I've learned so much it's really interesting if I missed any please let me know down below if there's any interesting norms or customs about the Argentine presidential elections that I may have missed but in case something is wrong or inaccurate let me know down below also I forgot to mention this too but Obelisco was actually very calm I saw the least amount of people in Obelisco ever normally that's a very crowded touristy place and like i think the only people i saw on the streets today literally were tourists so me and michael were one of them <laughs> So it's about 2 p.m. right now, and I saw something online that said at about 12 p.m., 30% of Argentinians have already casted in their ballot, and everything is very quiet, everything seems very safe, but a lot of people have told me that after the elections close, at about 6 p.m., I think they close, and so at about 7 p.m., people will start knowing, you know, what the results are. So at around that time, I've been recommended to not go out, especially to Plaza de Mayo and Obelisco and things like that because it can get crazy. But from my experience this morning, everything was just very chill, very calm. So a very anticlimactic vlog, but it's actually very nice knowing that 
everything was very peaceful. So I hope you've enjoyed this Buenos Aires Argentina presidential elections vlog and it's a very important day for Argentina. Results will be coming in later tonight so stay tuned, watch the news, see what's going on and by tonight or tomorrow we'll find out hopefully who the next president of Argentina is. There is a chance that it could go into a November vote but Stay tuned, keep yourself updated, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.